Okay, buyer's guide again at Wayne Ritchie's. Brian, we've got uh, some pretty boards here. Can you talk us through what's going on here? Yeah, well, we've got ladies' boards, obviously, yeah. and they're nice and pretty. And the particular one we've got here is called the Hyperlite Eden. And it's got, you know, as an asymmetrical shape, meaning that it's got, you know, different rail shapes and different fin sizes that you may even be able to see here, which is giving it, you know, a more locked down, encourageable kind of feel on the toe side edge, just helping you progress a bit, mate. Yeah, right, fantastic. Now, I, I noticed that the actual fundamentals of the ladies' boards are basically the same as guys' boards as well. They're just scaled down a little bit different. But uh, obviously the, the graphics are a lot more entertaining too for the girls. Yeah, that's right, mate. They're really just a shorter size of a, of a men's model, but you know, with a girly graphic on them that's, you know, gonna suit their personality. And what's this delightful sparkly number you're holding? Yeah, this is the Liquid Force Angel, and this is always a really popular board. And as you suggested, mate, it looks great. You know, it's a nice, mellow, easy board for girls to ride, but yet still offering a good level of performance. Okay, now, Brian, what are the, is this a trick ski that I've got here? <laughs> no, mate, looks a bit like one though, and it? it's a kid's board, actually. And uh, this is the new Ronix Vision, and um, yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? It's amazing. I love the graphics, how we've just really gone back to the late 80s on this. Yeah, it's really cool. Wow. So what's the go with the kids' boards? Are they exactly the same, you know, like, like the women's and, and the men's boards, it's basically just a smaller technology, so it's, to speak? Exactly. They're just scaled down little shapes. Um, you know, there are some high-performance ones out, for the, out there for those kids that rip it, but most of them are fairly mellow shapes that are going to allow them to get up and learn, but, you know, also have enough there for them to progress into. Great. And what about this one here? What's this one? This one's a little bit more of a basic board for those of you that are just looking for a little bit more of a price point. Sort of quite a forgiving shape, a real continuous rocker on it, just some channels down the side and just a really, you know, mellow entry level kind of deck. Great to get out there and get started. That's going to be really good for kids doing a lot of surface 180s and stuff as well, isn't it? Yeah, sure, mate, because it's, you know, with the, with the minimal finning on it, it's going to be nice and loose and easy for them exactly. to spin around. Yeah, great, for sure. Great. Okay, again, like the women's and kids' boards, as well as the beginner and the intermediate, you're kind of looking for a board that is going to be specific to the rider. So you want to make sure you try everything, is that right? Yeah, sure. It's really good to sort of, you know, cover all your options and make sure that you buy the board that's right for you. Yep, fantastic. And also remember, when you're, when you're a kid, you probably want to buy something that you can grow into as well. If you're still in those years of growth spurt stage, you want to try and get a board that's going to have a little bit of room for your bindings to move out and also is going to be a little bit longer in the nose and tail so that if you do get a little bit taller, you're going to have the right board for you for a couple of years.